This video explains how to set up an angle head half on a FANAC robot drill, the installation of the positioning block, the initial setup of the angle head, and the cutting direction alignment. First, install the positioning block on the machine. MSD offers a dedicated positioning block ABF005 for the FANAC rubber drill as a standard product. If you install an angle head half without the positioning block, the angle head will also rotate along with the spindle. The angle head body will not rotate if its positioning pin is secured to the positioning block. Only the angle shaft will rotate, making possible to machine the workpiece. There is an attachment surface behind the spindle where you attach the positioning block AVF005 with two M12 bolts. Do not tighten the bolts completely at this time. Next, attach the angle head half HFD12 to the machine. The securing bracket FKA65 is a standard dog type. First, make sure the orientation key is inserted into the key slot. Loosen the screw that is securing the dog with an allen wrench about one turn. If you loosen the screw too much, it will interfere with the bore and the dog cannot move down. Insert the allen wrench from the bottom side of the dog and turn it counterclockwise to lower the dog. Loosen the two set screws that are securing the positioning pin and lower the pin. Then tighten the screws lightly. Loosen the four screws on the orientation ring. Set the face of the positioning pin at a 45 degree angle to the drive key and tighten the screws. Attach the angle head half to the magazine. Select the command Tool Change and then bring the angle head half to the spindle. Lock the spindle by inputting the command Spindle Orientation M19. Loosen the four screws on the orientation ring and align the positioning pin and the positioning block. Loosen the fixing screws for the pin, push it up from the bottom, and insert it into the block. Hold the pin and tighten the two screws. Finally, tighten the two cap bolts firmly to secure the positioning block. Push the orientation ring up and tighten the four screws. If the orientation ring is not pushed up, friction will occur between the orientation ring and the housing during rotation. This will wear down the orientation ring. Insert the allen wrench from the bottom side of the dog and turn it clockwise to elevate the dog. Turn it until the orientation key becomes level. Cancel the spindle orientation and rotate the spindle by hand to make sure it rotates smoothly.
Remove the anchor head half from the machine. And securely tighten the orientation ring screws, the positioning pin screws, and the dog screws. This is all the initial setup that is required for the HFD-12. After tightening all the screws, make sure the dog and orientation key function properly. Next is the HFD-7L. The securing bracket FKC-65 is a ring dog type. First, Make sure the orientation key is inserted into the key slot. Loosen the two set screws that are securing the positioning pin and lower the dog while turning the iron wrench counterclockwise. Push down the pin and tighten the set screws lightly. Loosen the four screws on the orientation ring. Set the face of the positioning pin at a 45 degree angle to the drive key and tighten the screws. Attach the anchor head half to the magazine. Select the command tool change and then bring the anchor head half to the spindle. Lock the spindle by inputting the command Spindle Orientation M19. Loosen the four screws on the orientation ring and align the positioning pin and the positioning block. After loosening the two fixing screws for the pin, turn the allen wrench clockwise until the pin becomes free to move. Push up the pin to insert into the block and tighten the two screws lightly. Finally, tighten the two cap bolts firmly to secure the positioning block. Push the orientation ring up and tighten the four screws. If the orientation ring is not pushed up, friction will occur between the orientation ring and the housing during rotation. This will wear down the orientation ring. Loosen the two set screw again, turning the allen wrench clockwise, and turn the pin until the orientation key comes to the bottom. Look at the bottom of the positioning pin and adjust its flat face to the screwing point using an allen wrench. Finally, tighten the screws and fix the pin. Cancel the spindle orientation and rotate the spindle by hand to check if it rotates smoothly. Remove the anchor head half from the machine and securely tighten the orientation ring screws and the positioning pin screws. This is all the initial setup that is required for the HFD7L. After tightening all the screws, make sure the dog and orientation key function properly. Next is an explanation about how to carry out the alignment. You will need an allen wrench, a lever type test indicator, a plastic or rubber mallet to do the alignment. Attach the angle head half to the machine. Tighten one bolt lightly. Move the lever type test indicator in the X or Y axis direction on reference plane and adjust the alignment. The location of the reference plane differs from model to model. 
These are the reference plans for each model. Move the test indicator to a position near the center of the holder and adjust until the indicator points to zero. Move the indicator to the edge of the reference plane and measure the incline. Adjust the angle by tapping the square flange with a plastic hammer. Be sure to use a plastic hammer or rubber mallet when tapping. Tapping with a metal hammer or striking the angle shaft or the tip of the head may cause damage. Tighten the four bolts gradually in a diagonal order. Make sure to check that the alignment doesn't change while you are tightening the bolts. Adjust the alignment within 0.05 mm. Tightening bolts too tightly at beginning will affect the alignment. Tightening can be carried out smoothly if the amount of displacement during tightening is taken into consideration. Please contact MST if you have any questions.